let us continue the adventures in Stardew Valley, where we seek to reclaim forgotten glory. Oh, hang on a second. Is that part of the quest that I'm on? I hinted at the quest that I'm on. All right, let us go back to a time long ago when Dimitri was a young boy and down at the local milk bar there was a game. One of the problems is I don't know what the name of the game was but what I do know kind of what the game was it was a game like a ninja game we throw ninja stars yeah that's very uh, helpful and it wasn't like a side scrolling game it was more like a top down scrolling game um if you remember the game 1942 the aeroplane game where you kind of shoot and you get better weapons it's it's kind of the gameplay is similar to that where you you can move up and down side to side as the your enemy stuff is coming from the top down and allows you to sort of move around the place um but oh hang on here's my favorite little thing where's the side oh my infantry um and so it's like a top down scrolling game ninja and it basically what we would do is you would take as much money as you could like maybe two dollars or something like that and you would go down there and get 20 cent coins from the milk bar and then you would uh, chop down some stuff you would line up your coins on the machine so you could show everybody this is how much money i'm going to spend and you would continue to play the game to get as far as you could because it was a challenge to see how far through the game you could get which is the same as most games you know uh, my axe oh boy i need upgrades um and so that was the whole plan was to to play it as much as you could and people would sit there and play it like on the weekends and stuff like that or after after school i think i recall it used to be quite popular um does this do it yeah after school it would be quite popular and we would sit there and play it. Um, and you would watch people play it, see how far they get. You know, the good people would get further than the people that weren't that good. Um, and for the life of me, I don't know the name of it. What I can tell you is that it was in the era of, um, let's say, 1984 to 1988 that's all i can tell you is that that's it it's a ninja game through ninja stars and like 1942 you would get upgraded weapons and you would shoot more bullets with the ninjas the ninja stars would get bigger and they would go through more than one person so normal ninja stars would hit one person that's it Whereas when you get the upgraded ones, they would go through multiple people. I wonder what this thing's over here is for. I have to say, I do like this weapon. I like the sound of it. Oh, look at this, look at this. This is scythe heaven. Oh, look at this, I'm in the middle. Oh, but the flowers are so pretty. I can't cut them down. Maybe we can cut a uh, secret hiding spot. All right. That's my little secret hiding spot. Um, yeah, and that's it. It's Ninja Stars Ninja. I have searched long and hard, or well, not long, but I've searched quite a lot to try and find it, to, to you know, get an emulator to play it. And, you know, if I was to play it, I'd probably be bored as crap. But... Uh, pickaxe. But I really want to try and find it again. So I can show it to you guys. I do remember though Donkey Kong. I remember when the first time I saw Donkey Kong. I just couldn't believe it. 
such a fun little game in a handheld um, controller, you know, that was the start of like stuff, like early console games, they were pretty bad. But yeah, there's lots of old games. This is very similar to an old style game. Um, this one's quite easy going. Oh, look at this. It's heaven. Here we go, I gotta do it. I should put some type of little, make it a bit square. I should put like a little farm in there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I really want to find it. There's some awesome games. Gulaga. I think that's the one where it's like the Space Invaders where you get like two space, uh, ships that can shoot at the same time. That's an awesomely fun game. Pac-Man is still a fun game today, you know what I mean? It's still a fun game. And I'm thinking about trying to introduce games like this to my son. Uh, um, so he can like get a feel for what games were like in the old days. Alright. Alright, we need to do something. Let's go up here and have a look. We need bags, weapons, we need seeds we need a shop that's what we need we need a map all right what's that no idea community center backwards homes oh shopping mart let's go there okay we'll go for a bit of a wander but yeah, i'd like to try and you know do a few ASMR style videos a little bit like this, maybe with a webcam to see my reaction to what it's like playing old games, or maybe my disappointment. Oh, this is a doctor's bill you watch. Uh, you're exhausted. But I don't know why I can't. Oh, there it is. Um. Does this sound like you? Well, we've got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store and check out bags. Oh, thank you, game. And we've got to find it on the map. It sounds like the place to go. Pierre's general store. Black's blacksmith. Maybe I got a bit of ax over there. Pierre, there it is. All right, so we'll go there and there, and we'll go over there. Let's go shopping. Let's try and uh, be economical in the way that we spend money because, you know, wasting your money is not the correct way to, to go. Well, what I just did then, I thought I would test to see if I was recording. It wasn't just that. I'm having difficulty trying to work out how to save. So luckily I didn't do too much, but I can't for the life of me find a way to save this game. I'm sure Google would be my friend. And so we've got daytime Thursday. All right, so we'll have to come back and rewater this. So we know now to go to Pierre, Pierre's general store. We're gonna go to Jojo Mart. And we'll go to the blacksmith, see if we can find a better pickaxe or ax chop our wood all right let us keep going so yeah i'd like to you know bring back a little bit of nostalgia in some of the older games because they are quite fun but it's kind of difficult to play them when jojo's mart the pierre's store up behind me oh this must be right here no, don't do a pee pee there. <laughs> it's not even open. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, you gotta admit. Let's see if the um let's see if the 
blacksmith. Oh, let's see, we have to go over for a bridge. We'll go to Jojo Mart at nine o'clock. Oh, it tells you what time they open at least. All right, well, let's go back and do some farming. I tell you what, there was a game I used to really, really enjoy playing. Was when I was young was Spy vs. Spy, which was on the Commodore 64. Um, oh my god, and when things got a little bit better, I used to like playing Command and Conquer Red Alert. I used to love playing that game. Alright, now where are we going? We want to let's just clean up a little bit. Oh. Oh, I can chop chop there. Yes, this place is a little bit overgrown. Oh, it's only nine o'clock. I reckon if I go for a run now, the time time moves very quickly over here. I'd like to clear up these trees, but I've got to plant something. I like some beans. Mm, yep. Alright, let's go for a wander. Oh look, it's 9.30 already. Perfect time. So I've got 450 gold. I've been, um, something else I've been doing lately is getting into some old movies. And, um... What did it start with? Oh gee, oh no, I don't want that. What's... Oh my goodness, I don't want that. I want in. Alright, I'll get back for a second. For sale. thousand gold oh that's the most expensive bag I've ever come across so is there, not now is there anything else that they sell obviously oh here we go ah oh, this is better beans um, how do I buy my inventory is full um, Delete, no, delete, delete, delete. Um, I guess we're gonna get lots of stone. All right, so. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Not much money left. Let's go get an axe. Jojo Mart's gonna have to wait. Sorry there, little fella. All right, let's see if we go get an axe. Back in the old days, when a woodworker's value was highly sought after. Could you imagine what it would have been like? You know, your tools would have meant everything. Even today, tools mean a lot. I thought that looked like a blacksmith. Let's go check him out. No, we don't chop his footpath. Jeez, come on, where do I click? Oh, shop. Upgrade tools, yes, yes. <gasps> 2,000 gold. Oh boy. Oh, that's a pretty cool watering can. I guess I need to farm, sleep, eat, and you know what, and farm, and eat, and sleep, and you know what, farm, and eat, and sleep, and you know what, I guess that makes life pretty simple. I wonder if I can talk to this person, hello. Oh yes, I'm sure you are. Alright, which way do I go? North. And west. 
Christ. So, what I was talking about before was um, movies and, you know, trying to watch some of those, you know, movies that you really enjoyed. And I've been getting into a series of videos, which I've watched a little bit of before, which was Zayo Tichi. Uh, forgive my pronunciation of my... Um, oh yeah, they're very affordable. Um, Zayo Tichi, he's a... Uh, the movie started in 1962, I believe. The Tale of Zayo Tichi. And then there's quite a lot of movies. And the actor that did the first set of movies, um, he definitely made the role. Oh, I guess I sleep. Um, and, yes. And so I've been watching Zayotiki. I've watched the first couple of movies. And he's a blind swordsman. Um, you know, if you don't like Japanese samurai type movies, you may not like it. But it's not an action action movie. It's. I don't know if anyone here. Oh no. Um, it's not an action movie. There's a lot of like story to the movie and things like that. Oh, my plants are getting bigger. I go fill my watering can up. Um, but I'm really enjoying watching the Zao Tichi movies because it's... I don't know, I just enjoy the better samurai type movies. Um, and so I've been watching a little bit of that. I, oh, that's right, now I remember where it started. Conan the Barbarian. Um, no, as a young fella growing up watching Conan it's almost like you know if you watch Conan the Barbarian you're kind of programmed to hmm, let's, let's say be interested in bodybuilding fantasy roleplay type stuff um, alright let's let's go have some fun um, but yeah, watch a bit of Conan. I don't know, somehow it came up in my YouTube recommended videos. And um, watched a bit of that. And i tell you another movie oh, I'm going to re-watch again. I watched a little bit of it. It's Law Abiding Citizen. Um, so I was a big fan of the 300 movies with Gerard Butler. Um, you know, he hasn't been able to replicate that type of a movie not that he's the one replicating it, but he just hasn't been lucky enough. But I watched him in Law Abiding Citizen. I really, really enjoyed that movie. Um, there's lots of movies I've enjoyed, but I did enjoy that one. Um, I think I got World War Z. I'm going to watch that one again. Um, what else? There's so many good movies, so I'm kind of going through a little bit of a phase of re-watching some movies because there just hasn't been much available to really watch for a while. Oh, I got more seeds. I can go plant them. Yeah. Hang on, I wanted to put something in the middle. Not this one. No, we'll put it right up here. We'll start our farm over here. Come on, you can make it through. Alright. Oh yeah, my favourite. Big axe. So we need the hoe. Got to learn how to save this. Scythe. Ah, oh, it's disappointing.
Okay. I need to get rid of that tree. Oh, I'll chop the tree down. Oh, yes. It must be hard trying to chop down a tree. Wouldn't be easy. That's it. Yeah. Walking Dead comes back today, I think. Or tomorrow, or yesterday for you guys. Uh, plant these in spring. Oh boy. How do I know what season it is? Oh, come on, that's not fair. Uh, plant these in springs. Plant these in spring. One of the other ones. Uh, oh, I guess it's spring. What did I just do? Clay inventory. Oh. And I like buy one seed. Oh. 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 I think I'm going to go back to bed. Going back to bed. <laughs> Wake up tomorrow. <laughs> no, don't wet your bed. Yes. Oh yeah, a couple other movies I watched was um. Jet Li, Twin Warrior. Um, quite a big Jet Li fan years and years ago. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, interesting. Oh, look at that, look at that. Does that mean I can harvest? Oh, how do I sell them, though? <laughs> all of that out see what I mean about like I just went to bed okay uh, how do I sell getting started oh um, as you gain experience you'll discover crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. 
A scarecrow will prevent crows from snacking. Okay. Build a coop. Okay. How do I sell them? Let's go to Pierre's shop and go check it out. Oh, did I do that again? out again. No! Uh-oh. 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 Is that like a bin? I thought that was what a bin looks like. No, what did I just do? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna give up now, I think. All right, I need to go scythe some stuff. All right, where is it? Come on. Ah, it feels better. That's it, I'm going to scythe all of this. Ooh, what is that? What is that? It's just like rocks everywhere. I think I'm about to get exhausted. Oh, mixed seeds. Let's go check it out. I got a water. And this one. And this one. My um farm is looking to crash hot, that's for sure. I'll give it some water. Alright. Alright, let's just go choppy chop. One of my, um, when I was growing up, one of my favourite things I used to like watching was the wood chopping, where they basically race to see who can chop through the wood the first, the fastest. And then I guess it'd have stages and stuff like that. They used to put on displays during um, Australia Day events, and there'd be, a, you know, horses and cows and uh, farm animals for the young people and stuff like that. And they'd be, you know, you'd ride little motorbikes around the place, and you know, it's like Australia Day celebrations. And um, they do the wood chopping. And the wood chopping was, <clears throat> I think, by far one of my favourite events because it just displayed, um, like, strength and speed to be able to chop through wood. Um, and their axes were just razor sharp. You could just see with each stroke of their, 
that axe, that axe would just bury itself so deep into the log. And then, you know, they hit one side and they swing over to the other side and they take out a massive chunk of wood with just like two strokes on their first one. And I was always impressed with how fast they could do it. And then they then have to sort of like chop through one and then stand on one and chop through another. And then they'd have to grab a saw and saw a log in half. And, and then they'd have to, that's right, that's what they have, a big pole let's say five meters high in the air, 30, 40 feet or whatever it is. And you'd have to chop into the, the tree. It's not a tree, the trunk, you know, it's like a, a round log. And then you'd have to put like a, a piece of like a plank into it that had like a, so you'd, you'd cut a cut out and then you'd stick a plank into it and you could stand on the plank. And then you'd stand on it and then you'd hit the, the, tr the, the stump with a, the round bit of wood and you'd put another stick in there and then you'd go all the way out the top with say three or four sticks so you're standing on a plank of wood that you've stuck inside the tree it has like a uh, like a v-shaped on it so it goes in it wedges in there and then at the top you have to then chop with your axe through a tree trunk size piece of wood and and so that would be like, you'd have to do like four or five different things. And uh, you have to work really hard. And normally the younger and the fitter guys would be the ones that would probably power through it a bit better. But even the older guys, um, they would still just go hard at it. It's like just a race, just a chop through that wood. <clears throat> but they're definitely some of my uh, early memories of so we've got game playing a little bit of movies um, watching wood chopping I should see if I could link a video of it under this video I should be able to link a video of it to see if I can show you what it means All right, I think I'm going to have to call it here and I'm going to have to learn a little bit more about this game so I can work out what I do. So I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to have to work out how to save it before I turn it off. I don't want to lose my progress. Go to sleep. Yes. All right, night night people. Oh. I got level one farming. I got basic fertilizer and the scarecrow. All right, we'll see how we'll go using that. So it's the sixth day of spring. I got gold. What's this? I sold the parsnips, 420 gold, yes. And other, okay. Alright, so I need to hold on to all of that stuff for gold. Okay. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. I have since discovered a little bit of information. Is that... The most important part is when you go to sleep, it saves for you. I've got a couple of other ideas as well, so... Oh, it's raining. I like that. I'll go back inside. My only ideas was to watch TV. Let's watch the weather report. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Perfect. That's what you want to hear. Ah, fortune teller. <laughs> The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. That's okay. Life is usually a little bit difficult. Now what I want to do is crafting. Now I thought that I leveled up to get a scarecrow or I'm missing the bits I need. So I can build a chest, wood fence, gates. Paths, campfires, scarecrows. Alright, so I think I need to sort of 
What do I need? I need money. Fiber. I need, I need, I need stone. Let's get some stone and wood. Alright, let's go chop, 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 chop. Let's go. I'm sorry, we'll chop over right here. I swear I did not leave that patch like that last time. Let's have some wood. Sorry, my axe is not strong enough. Get some maple seeds. That's it. Uh, pickaxe, give us some rock. reading that there is a fair bit of stuff to this game it's not as simple as what it looks it has quite a lot of I'll drop that tree down. little delicacies that can help you I was reading one's getting a silo so it looks like I need lots of resources so I need to keep all this stuff Take off a bit, but I need some more stone. And I was also reading that you put your little thumbs in a patch because you get something called a sprinkler later on. And you put a scarecrow in the middle. So I need more seeds, that's definite. I have to go buy some more seeds. Uh, there's a stone there and there's bushes there. Alright, you sir are going down. Alright, I got lots of wood. Let's gonna get a bit more. Don't know what those things are, look like seeds. My inventory is full. Alright, so I put stuff in this looks like a box. Crafting. Crafting. Oh. Oh, I read that it's a bit about a bit of love, but we're not worried about that at the moment. Uh, what happened? This is difficult. Let's go plant the seed. We'll just chuck it anyway. Uh, oh, here's a box. Putting it in that box. Oh, it's finally like a bag. I finally got something. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, finally. Alright. Now. That tree. This is like a whole new game now. Oh, I can build a fence. Don't worry about that later. So we want coal and fiber. Where do I get that? What's this stuff? Okay. Okay. 
Right, so we've got some coal and there's some other stuff down here. Okay. Let us... What do we want? Fibre. I want the hoe. Jeez, I gotta get a bag. It's just incredible. Oh, I'll chop some wood oh, while we're waiting for that. Must be time to go to bed. out yes so this is where it saves there it is saving so going to sleep saves it let's watch TV yes I know my inventory is full weather report mm, and the other weather forecast will be so is it raining today and what's tomorrow? Uh, okay. Yes, it's still raining. Oh, stuff's growing. My farm is starting to fail. Um, so I can put that into there. see what we can do today I think we need to go chop 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 with some pickaxe Looks like there's more plants growing. Sorry, it was a frog. Frogs are allowed toad tonight. In Australia, we have a. We're not fond of toads. Toads were an introduced species to Australia. We had no such thing once upon a time. And they've totally taken control of this country. Frogs are the nicest animal in the world. 
to love frogs. Frogs are special. They're so calm. They'll just sit in your hand all day long. When I find a frog with my little fella, I'm so happy. I wish I would see frogs jumping around a place like I see toads. It would make me so happy. Seeing a frog now is so rare. They're like in danger around here. Seeds. Do 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 We're going to the market to play a game. Maybe not a game. Oh, seeds for sale. That would be nice. So when it says seeds, it means a seed. So some guesses tell me how much money they make or how much it costs. I guess some potatoes. So I just sell something. Alright. Let's go plant some stuff. This farming business is pretty expensive. At least it's raining. I'm getting a bit hungry, that's what I think. I need to plant some food. Uh, we want the hoe. Just, uh, I haven't hardly done anything. Okay. Let us... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we want some potato seeds. Two. should save it. Oh, I got pickaxe proficiency. Oh, it's so nice to be such a fine day. Get my watering can out. So where else to plant down here? Just stand in one place. Oh, hang on. I can't get into the middle.
can be placed all over your farm and serve as a place to refill your working hand. And a thousand gold. I need like two thousand gold for a bigger bag. Um, I might hold it there and I will catch you guys again soon. Go sleep. 